So I tried doing this video about four or five times on my camera. It keeps cutting off halfway, you know, so I'm just going to have to do it on here on my Logitech camera webcam. So what's up, YouTube? How are you guys doing today? It's been about 30 minutes of me trying to do this video. And I just want to say I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we'll be talking about, you know, us picking up Octane on Prof. And I'm really tired of all this negativity and, all, and just all the bullshit and the nonsense of all this and all the hate and all that stuff, you know. I really hate dealing with hate, you know, I just want to deal with uh, positivity, happiness, love, all this stuff, you know, what well, puts you in a good mood. And it, I feel like there's just been too much hate lately, there's too much, been too much hate around everything. And I understand you guys are angry, some of you are mad about the whole situation, but I want to go more in depth with it and explain to you guys kind of what happened. Uh, I'm just going to do it in a calm, nice way, you know, I don't want to deal, I don't want to deal or produce any more hate than there should be or than there already is. So. Start off, I'm gonna go a little bit back to my team, Prof. Uh, it used to be me, Aqua, Ake, Sonografin. I'm gonna talk about each player very quickly, uh, you know, kind of explain to them how I feel about them. So, a lot of you guys know Aqua. He's kind of my Mexican duo. It's kind of a joke thing, you know. I'm really not Mexican. I think, I'm pretty sure he is. But either way, you know, uh, I really like playing with him. I love the type of player he is. I love, uh, he, he's kind of, he's kind of like almost the same as me. Like, we fit, we almost have the same role. We almost have the same play style, but we're, we're slightly different. And I just really like the way he plays, how aggressive it is. You know, he's really clutch, especially in S&D. And I love that about him. You know, he's a really consistent player. He hasn't been playing. I think I don't think he played that well, UMG Cali, but he had. You know, he still played pretty good. And I, I've seen what he can do. You know, I've seen his, when he explodes and just starts raping. So we kind of told each other at the hotel after we lost. You know, last day Sunday, and we told each other like I told him straight up, and then he told me I'm like, you know, I really want a team with you. Uh, you know, after this, whatever happens, I know we should stick together, team of two, and just uh, figure out what we're gonna do. But definitely want to stay together. And he he told me that first. You know, I kind of grew with him. I told him the same thing. So yeah. Now I'm talk about Aix a little bit. A lot of you guys know Aix. A lot. Of, some of you hate him. Some of you like him. You know, he's a 90 times world champion, which Krim is now 20 times. So that's good for him. But um, I really like what he brings to the table. I, I like his leadership, and I like the hype he brings. You know he's a he's a really good leader. He especially when it comes to land, he leaves the bitching at home. You know the complaining, and he just really focuses on winning. And when it comes down to it, when it's crunch time and when we really need to win and when you really need to focus, like he puts that mindset. He puts that mindset in the team, and I really like that about him. I really like the hype he brings as well. When we're just when we're just ridiculous, like when we're doing so good, and he starts screaming and I'm screaming with him. We're just having a good time, like mid land. You know, like it's it's just a good time overall. You know, you really enjoy it just to having fun, and. Yeah, he might not do some maps so well on some maps. He, he might have his bad maps where he shits the bed and all that stuff. And that's why a lot of people think he sucks. And I agree, this might not be his best card, you know. I've seen the maps he, he shit the bed, and that's a reason why I felt like maybe I didn't want to team with him after UMG Cali. But, you know, I really like team with him, and I realized that, especially with Doug as a sub and Pat with an AR, we, we couldn't really fit the roles we wanted to. It kind of goes back to me, Doug and Aqua on the same team and then Pat you know it forces me or Aqua to be a second battle when in general we're a sub player and that's our roots and that's what we're really good at you know we're better than that with a battle so it, it would be wrong to force us to run a second battle throughout almost every map and then ha rather have than me have a sub battle which I'm really good with it and I can do a lot of damage and it's just more effective <sighs> okay and then Nagafin Nagafin's pretty good you know I, I had high hopes when he joined the team uh, Gfinity played pretty well, not gonna lie, you know, he, he surprised me. After that, he was going through some, some emotional thing, I, I really know, and he knows he wasn't playing that well, he told me in a text one day, um, pretty much after we didn't qualify for Season 3, he said, uh, you know, I've been shitting the bet lady, and all that stuff, and, you know, he, he was right, he had a point, he didn't play well, UMG Cali, he played well the last two matches, uh, but the first two days, you know, he didn't play too well. But either way, um, you know, he was the main problem on the team. He was an AR player, and he wasn't just doing his job. He wasn't slaying well. And when it came down to him pulling out a sub, that's the only time he would do all right. But the main thing is we needed our second bout to do work and slay and all that. So it wasn't working out. And, you know, me and Aqua got hit up by Doug. And Doug was pre pretty much wanting to bring Face Black back. He had Octane on board. And we said, all right, let's go ahead and try this. So we tried it for the 2K. You know, I told Pat straight up, like, I'm trying this out. You know, I'm doing this. He's like, you can't be serious. I'm like, I'm doing this, Pat. Like, that's it. Like, end the story. So we tried it out. I believe we made it to quarters. We lost to Elevate. And it sucks. But, you know, we're like, all right, whatever about it. And then me and Aqua talked after. And we're like, uh, we pretty much wanted to try out, you know, since it wasn't official. 
we wanted to try out with Aix and Octane, you know, pretty much Aix and replace the Doug for the 5k. Uh, we were gonna do it, but, you know, Doug nonstop um, pretty much felt like it was wrong and didn't really want to, I guess, us have a chance of maybe staying with Pack because he knows that we play with him and we do well, we're most likely gonna stay with Aix and stuff like that. So he kept hitting me up, he kept texting me, he kept calling me constantly, you know, telling me, like, trying to hit me up and try to tell me this. So pretty much around 3 in the morning, you know, I just told him straight up. I was like, all right, we'll just play with you guys. I'll tell Pat that we're going to stick with you guys after. Yeah, so it's been a really stressful decision making and all that stuff. And then basically what went down was we're going to play the 5K with Doug. We ended up playing the 5K with Doug. And I believe we made it to quarters again. We lost again. Um, you know, we, we choked really bad. And it sucks, you know, it happens, it's whatever, we were like, brush it off. Um, I was having some doubts from the start, you know, it's about the whole thing. But I talked to Aqua and Octane about it, and, you know, they pretty much, I agreed with what they were saying, and, our, and they pretty much, you know, convinced me to stay and go 100% with it. So I was like, alright, let's do this, you know, <clears throat> we're going to be face back, me, you, Octane, Aqua, you know, Doug, we're going to be good. And I was pretty much ready to practice, to go hard. I told them even the night after we lost a 5k, like, we'll scrim tomorrow, you know, we'll get shit down. <clears throat> so then as soon as I went to bed um, I went to bed about four o'clock in the morning I got a text at seven o'clock in the morning, which is four o'clock uh, Aqua's time telling me stuff about like um, Are you sh are we sure you're doing the right thing? Like I miss teaming with Pat and I miss running running a uh, sub because now I'm forced because the thing is Aqua was forced to run the second bow and I was and He just didn't like you know, he was a he's he's a main sub player so like he's like I miss running the sub and I, ri I miss my going my old ways like now I have to like basically being pushed into a role and you know he told me all this stuff and he's pretty much you know regretting it so after long talks with him <coughs> um, it was it was back and forth you know like should we stay should we go what should we do god damn this video is taking long I'm trying to explain it really fast and you know I'm almost done hold on guys and you know it, w it was a pretty hard decision uh, we talked about it for a for about a couple hours you know and we pretty much, after, you know, talking and everything, realized that, you know, this is not going to work out too well, uh, especially with, with Doug being a sub player. And we need we need another bow. We need, like, if I want to be able to do my thing, if he wants to be able to do his thing, we need a bow player. I need to be the, the third sub bow. I need, a, I need to be able to run a sub. He needs to be able to run his main sub. It was complicated, really complicated. So then I talked to Doug for about two hours on the phone, well, on and off on the phone, you know, texts as well and calls. And, you know, I'm like, we talked, and I was like, you know what, Doug, you're right, man, this is wrong. And, you know, we should we should definitely just stick together. Um, I'll talk to Aqua about it, but I'm not sure what's going to happen yet. I'm just going to talk to him and see what happens. Because I told him straight up that we're going to go back to Aix. And, you know, I told him I'm sorry, but we, we're going to do this. And I'm going to go back on Prof. The team I've been in for two months, and I really enjoyed uh, Ollie, who's the owner of Prof. I really like him. He's a great guy. And I really liked the, our old team, team of three, me, Aix, Aqua. The main person I, re I really didn't like was Nagafin. So that was the whole thing. And then I talked to Aqua. I called him. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? I, I don't think we should do this, man. Let's just stay with Doug. And this is all real, man. I'm not going to make this shit up. And I told him straight up. I'm like, we should stay with Doug. Like, what what do you plan to do? What do you want to do? And he's like, you know, man, I'm staying with Pat. I'm staying with Aix. I, I just want to win. And, you know, I just want to do this. And you do whatever you want to do so he basically like we're like chained together you know going through going back and forth and he basically broke the chain and was like you know what, dude i'm staying with aches and you you do what you want to do whatever you think you you want to do what whatever you you think is the best decision you go ahead and do it um i'm not chained i'm like i'm not attached to you anymore i'm not on like on you whatever so then basically um octane was pretty much on board with i guess staying with prof so it was me and doug and it was already prof was octane aches and aqua you know it was pretty much official they were together they were already talking and the thing is pat throughout the whole throughout the whole time never texted me back after i told him you know i'm saying with doug you know it's pretty much dead on you know just quiet and i guess he was talking to aqua a little bit but other than that he wasn't really talking to me anymore because I, I basically told him like back off you know i'm staying with doug so then it ended up to me of a team of two with sensor and i like i keep calling him doug but i feel like i should call him sensor but you guys know who he is so i'll just keep calling him doug so I ended up me being a team to a center and a lot of you guys feel like oh I should have stayed with him you know you're right but in the end of the day like I need I need to win I need to make money I want to win you know I'm not doing the best on YouTube like he is uh, I don't have no G Fuel sponsorship where they're paying me some good money every month 
Uh, you know, I don't have none of that. Uh, really, what I strive on and what I make money off is winning, winnings and championships. You know, I want to win more than anything. Uh, yeah, it would have been nice to be on Facebook for the YouTube and for the the fame and the Twitter and all that stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a great thing. But in the end of the day, like, I want to make an income. And if I don't make the season three regulations, I'm kind of fucked. You know, I'm, I'm in a bad spot. And this is my best bet. This is my best team. And I really, I really do enjoy playing with them. It's not like I didn't uh, to start off. So, in the end of the day, uh, there wasn't really much players to pick up for a team of two. And they hit me up, you know, I was the last one. Aqua and Octane already agreed to be on prop. They, they hit me up talking about it. And they told me, what do you want to do? Ax hit me up, like, are you planning to stay? And, you know, I told them, you know what? I'm just going to go with you guys. Uh, let's do this. And I felt really bad for Doug. A lot of you guys think like, oh, you're heartless, you're a scumbag, all these things. You guys think like I have no sympathy or I feel I feel nothing. But I felt extremely bad. Uh, that's what's been eating me alive throughout the whole day, like three days. You know, what should I do? What shouldn't I do? Who should I stay with? You know, it's been it was racing through my mind. I barely got sleep like for the, for two nights. You know, I slept like three four hours. You know, being up to like six o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep. You know, just eating me alive. <clears throat> and at the end of the day. I didn't want to stay in a team of two with Doug, you know, looking for picking up scraps, like, uh, no offense to these players, but, you know, I didn't want to, like, just pick up scraps and, like, put three subs in a team, and just, like, Doug was like, yeah, you know, this is your best option, and all this stuff, but I'm like, I just want to, I want to win, man, and I want to make the, I have a good opportunity, I have a good squad right now, and I need to make this happen, you know, this was my old team to begin with, and I really enjoy being on prof, so... I decided to do it. I didn't want to stay in a team of two with Doug. You know, it would have been pretty hard to find two players because a lot of the players were already taken. And e either, even then, even then, like, there's some good teams going to this, uh, season two regulation. And if I don't qualify for this, it's going to be really bad on me. Like, extremely bad. Because I don't have that much income, you know, coming off YouTube and streaming, all that. Like, I make a decent amount, but nothing special where Doug makes, like, a really good amount. So I really need to make this season. I really need to, you know, go hard and just try to win and do all this for, and this and this. And so I ended up choosing my best option. You know, I was the last one to leave Doug. And I basically told him, like, I'm sorry, man, but good luck. I hope I hope you find a team or you build a squad. Because in the end of the day, uh, we didn't drop Doug. We just, you know, we went back to our old team, the team we basically started from. And I should have, you know, I should have skipped all the drama. I should have never, you know, uh... I wish, I wish Aqua would have stayed with me, because if Aqua would have stayed, I would have stayed. But since he left me in a tight situation, you know, I decided to go back. But in the end of the day, you know, we decided to go back. And I know Doug is the head of Face Black. You know, he wants to keep that brand. You know, that's where he wants to be. That's what he wants to do. So that's that's what's really holding him there and holding him down. But I know he'll build a squad. I know there's a, you can still qualify for season three regulation if he didn't get a squad in time. Uh, for the roster because you need to have top aim pro points which e even then I didn't think he was gonna be able to pick uh, Three players up that would be in the top aim pro points, but I know he will be in the online qualifier I'm pretty sure he's gonna participate I know he's not gonna miss it and he's gonna build a decent squad and hopefully he gets there and qualifies um, but Yeah guys uh, Situation sucks, but in the end of the day I gotta look out for myself as well. You know, this is a job. This is what makes the money and I I gotta I gotta do what I gotta do you know I felt bad I felt the worst one there and I was the last one to leave him but either way um just wanted to share the story share my side and let you guys know pretty much what went down uh, I didn't really want to do a video on this because it's probably gonna get hate and a lot of you guys are gonna be angry and say a lot of shit but in the end of the day I felt like it was the only right thing to do and, ex and pretty much go in depth with the whole thing so thank you guys for watching uh, I'll see you guys later